Have a look, folks. The moon up close, and then I can show you the rings of Saturn. The Sea of Tranquility is in there, and also the little one, I'm not sure exactly where the telescope pointed, but there's a little one over on the edge, the left edge, which is called the Sea of Crises. That's on the uh, south pole of the moon, or near the south. Oh, that's, that's so cool. And uh, we think the Earth was full of craters like that at one time. But My first uh, time here was uh, November 13th, 1987. I um, I think part of it was I wanted to share my enjoyment and my awe of the night sky with the general public, with as many people as possible. And the other part of it was I was desperately looking for a way to get out of a substitute teaching job and it realized that somehow or other my telescope would do it for me. Oh my God. Oh well, yeah, look at this. This is unbelievable. Do you need your glasses to see? It really is. No. Yeah, nature did some incredible stuff, both out in the, in the universe and down here on Earth. We don't see it. We need to take your glasses off. And Saturn is uh, a nice oh, no, example of that. Oh my God. See? That is amazing. That does not look real. And the little star to the lower left of yeah, it is Titan. It. That's its largest moon. Isn't that something? I don't think there was any uh, question about coming to Fells Point. I, you know, I knew I had to go to some place in town where there were a lot of people walking around at night. And I was familiar with Fells Point having spent a decade in the bars myself down here and uh, knew it was an okay place to come. And so just came down here with uh, no questions about it at all. There's the moon. Oh, yeah. And you can see all those craters. craters. In it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are all meteorite craters. Come on, see the moon, boy, girl. Come on, see the moon. Yes. I am. Oh, what's that? That's the moon. For real? Yeah, and, and those holes in it are craters. Well, the three things that I look at the most are the moon, Saturn, and Jupiter. Jupiter is real nice. You can see stripes on the planet. You can see it's moons and so forth. Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. But Saturn's unique not only in its own right with its ring, but it's unique in the reactions that it gets from the people. Come on around this way. Okay. And look right in there. And I'm going to block some of this light. And it's small but bright. Oh my god, neat! Isn't that you something? You guys, it's so cool! <laughs> Definitely one of nature's finest celestial creations. Oh my god, that's so neat. Ring. You can see the rings. Right from Fells Point. Right from Fells Point, very yeah, good. Go. Most of my paying customers, so to speak, are uh, just visitors or tourists. Would you care to have a peek, folks? Sure. Let me make sure it's still there. Oh, it's doing great. It's hanging right in there. Yeah, please have a look. Oh my god. This is an incredible telescope. I don't think it would work. What's the magnification? 133. 133,000? No, just 133. I am a fixture in a way in that uh, a lot of the local people, people who live around here, know me and are glad that I'm here. They, they see me as, as kind of uh, a nice contrast to the, uh, the commercialism that uh, surrounds us here, the bars and so forth and so on. Saturn again. I missed Jupiter, didn't I? Uh, yeah, you, well, maybe. We'll get it, we won't have it again until late December. spring, something like that Gosh, this year. I thought you were gonna have it again. Whoa. No. Saturn is definitely one of nature's uh, finest celestial creations, I think. Let me uh, magnify it a bit. Even magnified 133, it's still going to be kind of smallish, but it'll be pretty sharp, and you'll see the ring with no trouble at all. So this is the yeah. There you go. Oh wow! Nice, huh? I feel like I'm offering the average person uh, a chance to see some of these things that they've only 
seen photographs of her, or drawings of in books and, and offering them a chance to see them with their own eyes, a once in a lifetime chance in a way. Because I'm sure a lot of people who look at Saturn or the moon through my telescope, that's the first time and maybe the last time they'll ever have an opportunity to do that. So I feel like I'm an artist in a way, an artist with a telescope. <laughs> it's lower it's, left. Uh, it's the upper. Sea of Serenity, and then you have the Sea of Tranquility. On the upper left. Here's where you're, lo you're looking at it this way, I think. The big gray area. Is it the yeah, biggest nice? moon you've ever seen? Except when Freddie Fassbinder mooned me in the seventh grade. It was a little bit bigger than this. 